Good morning guys, what's going on? Welcome to Saturday where I'm going to be spending the majority of the work time of my day at this place. I've been, been doing a little bit of work on the Jacaranda Disco Tech song, but one of the last pieces that I want to have for it is some samples of some beats. So I've got a bit of a mission to do this afternoon. Looks like there's a lot of people here this afternoon, so I don't know how we're gonna go. I need quiet on the set. Looks like there's been a wedding here today. That's why all the people are here. So, obviously come up to, well, <laughs> come today to the Timoth Botanical Gardens to find some bees or something of that nature. Preferably bees. But I'm not seeing many flowers. A lot of the grevilleas and acacias and, well, other plants have all finished flowering, which I thought might be the case, but I should be able to find something still. Well, I found a jacaranda. There are a few bees on it, and it's also windy though, so, and there are lots of birds around, so it's going to be quite a challenge to get anything. Just taking a quick second to wait for these guys to go. Coming up with better samples than I probably thought I would have when I got here, I was just like, oh, this doesn't look too good, but listening back to some of the samples, I threw, even just through the speaker on this, they sound pretty cool. Recording with the H6 Zoom is incredibly easy. Um, compared to the H4n, it's much faster. All you need to do is switch it on. And like that, it's ready to record. So you just make sure that you, if you want the top microphone to be active, then that's these two buttons here. And then all you need to do is press record. And you can see it's recording. And it's gonna be picking up my voice now. It also has two XLR or three quarter inch jack. Um, or quarter inch jack I should say, not three quarters, um, on both sides and that corresponds to these four tracks here. So if you want to use one of them all you need to do is just press it and it arms it and then you can record, you can plug in external microphones, it has phantom power to power any microphone that you want. Then once you've recorded a sample you can listen to it back It's as simple as that, and I've got it on this Ryko grip to take out any vibrations. It works quite well, and a dead cat to remove the wind noise. Makes for a very fun time and a very hassle free time when you're trying to get samples. Alrighty, time to go home now and check out what. I've just recorded on the computer.
Damn, it's hot. Alrighty guys, I find it best for my workflow to use Adobe Bridge to import everything, so I'm going to do that. And I delete everything because I'm automatically backing it up. Just come into the folder where I've got everything located and there are all my sounds. And so on and so forth. So now all I have to do is drag my samples that I want to edit and check out the sounds of them into my door, which I use Ableton. I'll just drag them onto an empty audio track and then all I have to do is solo that track and I can hear them and then I can play around with them and just extract the sounds of the bees themselves. Here it looks like you can already tell with my workflow I try and save as much time and when you're taking long field recording sometimes you can just have long spaces of nothing so what you best off doing is finding these gaps where you find that the sound is peaked and then just go from there. Well, that was nothing. Oh, that was just me moving. At least now I know that. Come on, there'll be bees somewhere. I know a lot of these I was recording and then just moved around a fair bit. I'm just going to increase the gain on these samples so we can get a better look. <laughs> so just for argument's sake, I'll just show you quickly what I might do. Is I like that sample, so what I'm going to do what else? So that's really good there. So I know that part is going to be usable. So what I can do is extract that. Oh, shit. Just highlight that part. Get a little bit more than I need, maybe. Control C, copy it. Then go Control V up here just to have it as a separate sample and then I can come in here now I can just drag that to where I want it to start then what I might do is take an EQ8 onto that track and I can see all the sounds that are in that. So what I want to do is find the frequency with which the B is making. Which I have no idea what it is by that, but what I do is I'm going to first take off the low frequencies because I know it's not going to be that. just to take off some of that ambience. Then I can use, say, this one and peak it. So it sounds like it's mainly there. So I'll peak that. Uh, It looks like there's a few different oct octaves here. We mainly want to just take away samples that, or frequencies that we know are only impeding. Before, 
after. Much better. We'll put a high pass on there. Oh, low pass, sorry, as well. Sounds pretty good to me. Now what I can do is take that sound. I can send it to another track. So, oh, I don't have to do that. I can just go, um, say, track 9. I'll get audio from track 10. Arm that track. Then... Select input and go here. Now what should happen, I might also boost that because um, just to get a bit more of a signal. I'm also going to compress it slightly. So now if we record again, what we've got here now is a sample that is purely just my edited recording. Now if I want to use that as an instrument, all I have to do is drop a simpler into another track I can drag the B in here, so I don't want to use that, and then I can just I've got an instrument. What I'm going to be doing later is doing a stream because I want to add this B to this track that I'm working on. It's an ambient techno track I'm using for uh, an album I'm working on, which sounds something like this. And I want to add bees to it because the song's called Jacaranda Disco Tech. And I was it's pretty fitting that I, the bees that I were recording were on a jacaranda, so that just worked out perfect. Um, I'm going to have that video up on my Axonov channel, so I'll link that in the description so you can, guys can check that out if you're interested in watching a producing stream. Otherwise, thanks for watching this video. having a stellar afternoon. All that recording was great fun, but I have to be work at work again in just under an hour and I need to have some lunch. One of the most basic meals ever, but I don't even care. I now have 45 minutes before I have to be back at work, so I'm just going to do some catching up on my vlogs. And I'm still hungry. Hurry up and import! Check that out, guys. That's what I've filmed already today, not including these videos. Editing takes quite a long... It's a pretty long process. So I hope you guys appreciate these videos. Too bad for me if you don't. I'm just joking, guys. Alrighty, I'm out of time, so I'm just gonna have to go back to work. Car's pretty low on fuel, and I'm trying to get some more exercise, so I'm gonna walk to work.
replacement. So apparently Taylor's making me a Snickers bar. Yeah, no, look at that. That is messy as. Anyway. Uh, what are we doing? I don't know. Oh, is this recording? No, we're just. Oh, so, it is. so it's not recording? No, it is recording. Oh, well, that's okay then. <laughs> I'm seeing Rosie. Oh, wait, I better, I better act sober. She lost her. <laughs> Shit. My cannon died. <laughs> Battery's dead, so I'm gonna have to do some vlogging on this camera, which is really shit. I didn't even get to record my last drink because of this. And the one before that, I spilled everywhere over the bar. Ah, uh, you you drunk? I'm drunk. Too drunk. No, I'm not having that. What are you drinking? Uh, something special. That looks very unusual. No, it's uh. Lemonade. No, no, trust me, it's uh. Just vodka, lime, and soda. Put away like a motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Well, apparently, Dean is going to be here soon. Red. <laughs> oh, gay! <laughs> Fuck! Oh, hey! Oi, oi, oi! Who was I kissing? You Chris. Red. Who were you kissing? Someone getting off me. Why did you kiss on this? Well, not only that. Why? Why do you kiss? Oi, why do you kiss those things? Alright guys, heading home. I've had enough. Ooh, I'll catch you there. I'm gonna recharge my battery and do a bit more. Evidently, I did not recharge my batteries and I did not do more vlogging, so I don't know what happened when I came home. Anyway. Love you guys. I'll catch you today where everything I'm going to do is up in the air.